Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, are to honor the dream of a late conservative MP with a poignant visit. Prince Charles and Camilla are heading to Southend on Sea, in Essex, on March 1 to officially mark its new city status. During the visit, the Prince of Wales will present a letters patent to Mayor Margaret Borton. This move is particularly poignant as it comes just months after the stabbing of late Conservative MP for Southern West Sir David Amis, who had campaigned for two decades to see Southend gain city status. In December 2019, Sir David secured an adjournment debate on the issue. On the day set to be particularly emotional for the new city, Sir David's widow Lady Julia Amis will be given the freedom of the city on behalf of the late MP. After the presentation, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess will tour parts of the new city. The royals are due to unveil a new eco-friendly pier train named after Sir David. They will also meet staff at the pier, members of the RNLI, the Coast Guard and the local community. Letters patent are a written order from the Sovereign conferring a patent or other rights. Following the ceremony, Southend will officially become the 52nd city in England and the second in Essex, alongside Chelmsford. Speaking about the upcoming royal visit and its poignancy, Mayor Borton, said, formally receiving city status from the Prince of Wales will be a special moment for Southend-on-Sea, and we are hugely honoured to receive a visit from their Royal Highnesses on what is sure to be a momentous day for our new city. Ian Gilbert, leader of the Borough Council, said it would be a landmark day for our new city and indeed our new city council, and one that will live long in the memory for all of us. The decision to grant Southend a city status was announced on October 18, three days after Sir David died of stab wounds at Belfair's Methodist Church, where he was meeting constituents. Ali Harby Ali, from North London, was charged with Sir David's murder and engaging in conduct in preparation of terrorist acts. In December, during a pre-trial hearing at the Old Bailey, he pleaded not guilty to both charges. He is due to go on trial at the Old Bailey on the 21st of March. Speaking about the decision to honor Sir David's lifelong campaign for Southend by granting its city status, the mayor said shortly after the announcement was made, hearing the announcement from the Prime Minister today is a somber but special moment. For the borough to achieve city status is testament to how loved and well respected Sir David was. My only wish is that Sir David could have seen this moment himself, because it has brought years of his tireless campaigning to fruition. I hope that this announcement will highlight the legacy that Sir David leaves us. Councillor Tony Cox, leader of the Southend Conservative Group, said in October, to hear the announcement today that Southend on Sea will be granted city status was an emotional but incredible moment. Sir David, your legacy will forever live on in Southend on Sea. I cannot thank Her Majesty the Queen and the Prime Minister enough for granting that legacy but what truly breaks my heart is that he is not around to see it. I am sure he will be looking down on us now saying my work in Southend is now complete. The death of Sir David also prompted a parliamentary by-election, held earlier this month, which saw the Conservatives retaining the seat and the election of Anna Firth. The election was not contested by Labour, the Liberal Democrats or the Greens.